I believe the classic movie Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer could be inspired by Martin Luther King's famous speech. What are your thoughts on this? I'm so cool. Well, Joe, thank you for that question. Um, I didn't find anything specifically about the speech and stuff like that, but I did find a couple of interesting things that uh, came into play. Um, there's a, there is, um, as I looked on the internet, I did find something. Um, there is a blog, I think, of some guy who says that Rudolph um, was like um, essentially uh, African Americans in the 1960s. Uh, that they're mocking, and he he apparently says that um, Rudolph was mocked and uh, excluded from the game because he looked different. Not uh, not only did the other reindeer laugh and call him names, they um, but they didn't let the poor rain uh, Rudolph join the rest of the gang and, and play reindeer games. Um, uh, da, 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 da. All right, then uh, he goes on by saying that it reminds him of the Martin Luther King Jr.'s famous speech, All Here and Now, a speech um, in which uh, King declares that we are not willing to wait 50 years for, for what is our for it is ours on the basis of the Constitution of the United States and the authority of God himself. Uh, Rudolph, uh, Rudolph the Reindeer was created by Robert L. May in 1939 as a part of his employment to Montgomery Ward, the company, and uh, the, reindeer, uh, the Reindeer Special, which was a four-part special, uh, debuted in NBC in 1964. So, a year after the speech, I believe that's what you're talking about. Um, right, right. It's a year after uh, he gave the speech, Martin Luther King. So there's a possibility. I don't know. I I couldn't find much about it. There's no evidence that would say that it came out, and I couldn't find anything uh, that would link specifically the two. All right. Thank you, Joe, for that question. I uh, hope to see you again at Sinclair Community College.